Now I'm ready to go again. Uh, today I'm going to the forest where the red squirrels are and I'm going to show you some tips uh, how I think when I'm going to uh, photograph portraits. So I'm going to give you some tips on the background and foreground and how we're going to use this and um, hopefully it will be a great time and hopefully there will be some uh, animals and some activity. And the weather is good so let's go. It's so beautiful animal. Now I'm ready. I have uh, rigged uh, for my um, uh, for my portraits of the animal. Now I have taken the, a stump and put some food in, in the middle of it, so the the red squirrel will find it easily and come and eat. The first tip that I want to tell you is, uh, of course, background. Uh, I guess you have heard it before, but background is really important and you can use it in several ways. Now it's autumn and there's a lot of beautiful colors. Uh, so uh, find a place where there, um, there is uh, some yellow leaf in the background will create a really colorful and beautiful background and that makes a more interesting portrait tip number two is that i'm using a foreground uh, that i have a little bit closer to me so i can make some blurry um, foreground and what happened then is i separate uh, uh, the animal more from and it pops more out of the picture so uh, I get more depth and uh, creates a um, beautiful creative setting. I actually love that foreground, that blurry foreground. As you probably know from my earlier videos and how I think when I'm photographing from low angle you also get that um, blurry foreground. Okay, here is what I'm thinking. Here you can see. This is what I see, what I have set up. Look at the beautiful colors there. And you have some leaf in the foreground just framing in uh, the place that I want the red squirrel to, to sit on. 
makes a beautiful, beautiful place. One of the great things with uh, wildlife and bird photography is that you can be creative uh, in many ways. And that's what excites me about this. Uh, you can choose different backgrounds, foregrounds. Uh, you have different lighting, backlight, uh, front light. And um, yeah, so I really like to be creative in, um, in this type of photography. There is always new ideas how to get some uh, type of picture and I, I like that. and the waiting part is that you have uh, you have that excitement um, in the, the, the unknown what uh, to expect so that, that never goes away of course when I arrived at this place and there are squirrels of course that's amazing too but uh, when I come here and sit down and place and just wait for the red squirrel um, and you have to wait maybe an hour and the red squirrel appear that's that's a good feeling I think I, I think I hear the red squirrel just outside my, my blind I'm not sure if it was a bird or... It's a good thing that I took my uh, chair blind today because now it starts to rain. Well, here in the forest with a red squirrel it's not necessary for me to have a blind because they are so used to people. Um, but I use it because it's much more isolating for wind and rain and stuff like that so you don't get that cold if you sit and wait for a long time. Now it's here. Where did it go? I just saw it. Now I can hear it. You're making this clicking noise. time they grow much more hair on the body and also on the air they are so beautiful then look at this and the yellow color in the background it's it's just amazing now it's here again and this will make the clicking noise some different uh, individuals and some are really um, trusty and some is more skittish so
this is what it looks like. You see the leaves in the foreground there. This makes the diffuse uh, foreground you see here. Oh, look at this, look at this. Just the way I picture it. Just the way I picture it. When they take this tail and just snuggle it in in their body, they just, yeah, it's just amazing. consider subscribing give me a thumbs up that will help me a lot so uh, this has been a great day and I hope I will see you in the next video bye